PowerX, your power semiconductor solution provider, is pleased to show you our medium volume semiconductor power module assembly facility. This new state-of-the-art automated manufacturing capability has expanded capacity to support your exacting requirements. Our entire line is designed for efficiency, keeping modules moving through each station every 90 seconds, a tenfold increase in production. Our automated equipment has been designed to accommodate several different varieties of power modules and can be quickly reconfigured from one module type to another. All of our power modules require a high degree of precision during assembly. Even minute variations in construction can cause a power module to fail. Our automated process not only performs repetitive tasks, it also reduces assembly variation. Ultimately, this manufacturing process will afford higher yields, which translates to very competitive pricing. Working in a Class 10,000 clean room requires proper outer garments and electrostatic discharge, or ESD, control. All operators, technicians, and engineers must don appropriate protective garb before entering the clean room. These suits keep the clean room free of dirt and other particles that could compromise the integrity of a power module while it is being built. In addition to stringent dress requirements, our clean room floor is coated with a conductive layer to ensure ESD protection. Despite their many varieties and shapes, all of the power modules built in our facility are assembled in essentially the same fashion. Each module begins with a base plate, which is typically either nickel-plated copper or, in cases where module weight is important, nickel-plated aluminum silicon carbide, or ALSIC. To the unaided eye, they look the same, but the ALSIC base plates are much lighter weight. The assembly process begins with the board destacker feeding the base plates into the screen printer that applies a liquid solder mask, which is green, to the base plates through a screen printing process. The solder mask ensures the base plates stay free of solder during the assembly process. Once the liquid solder mask is applied, the mask must be cured in an ultraviolet oven. This process ensures the mask stays in place throughout the remainder of the assembly process. Now that the base plate is properly prepared, we are ready to begin the subassembly process. Solder paste is dispensed onto the base plate in preparation for substrate attachment. The dispense pattern is designed to permit air to escape during the soldering process. This is important because trapped bubbles create voids in the solder joint, which impedes the transfer of heat from the semiconductor chips in the module to the base plate. The first pick and place machine selects the appropriate substrates and carefully positions them on top of the solder paste. You can see that the substrates are pre-masked with green solder mask. As with our base plates, this mask ensures the liquid solder only goes where needed. Next, more solder paste is dispensed onto the substrates, this time in smaller quantities and smaller patterns to accommodate the semiconductor chips. A pick and place machine is then used to select and place semiconductor chips on top of the solder paste. These semiconductor chips are made of silicon or silicon carbide and covered with a thin layer of metal. The base plate populated with the substrates and chips is now referred to as the subassembly. The subassembly is ready to be placed into the vacuum soldering chamber. Now the subassembly is ready to be joined in a single vacuum soldering operation. Each subassembly is first placed on a hot plate outside the furnace to preheat it. It is then moved to another hot plate to preheat it until the solder melting temperature is reached. Once the solder paste liquefies, the subassembly is placed into a vacuum furnace. The furnace removes any trapped air bubbles contained in the solder. This step is crucial to prevent voids in the solder joint. There are three vacuum furnaces operating simultaneously to ensure that a subassembly comes out of this station every 90 seconds. Once the vacuum furnace operation is complete, the newly soldered subassembly is placed on a cooling plate before it is finally placed on the conveyor to the next station. Once the subassembly exits the vacuum furnace area, 
It travels to the repositioning station where a robot places the subassembly in the acoustic microscope. To verify void free solder joints, all subassemblies are subjected to this process. This device, which operates essentially like an ultrasound, provides a very clear image of the solder joints. After ultrasound imaging of the subassembly confirms it passes PowerX's acceptance criteria, the robot picks up the subassembly and moves it to a cleaner. High pressure water jets remove any flux residue generated from the vacuum soldering operation. At this point, the robot places the subassembly in position for case attachment. Each plastic case has power terminals embedded into the plastic. This design feature eliminates the need to attach these terminals in a separate soldering operation. The case is now attached using room temperature vulcanizing, or RTV, silicone gel as well as screws to hold the case in place while the RTV is cured. Once the case is attached, the subassembly is now referred to as a module. Once the RTV has cured, the module is almost ready to have wires installed. To ensure we have a debris-free mounting surface for the wires, the newly cased module is run through a plasma cleaner, which provides an extraordinary level of surface cleanliness. The module now moves on to the automated wire bonders. Here the circuits of the module are completed using very thin aluminum wires placed very precisely between the semiconductor chips, the conductive pads of the substrates, and the terminals embedded in the plastic case. These wires are attached through an ultrasonic welding process, which presses the wire down while vibrating at very high frequency. The number and diameter of wires used is based upon the current rating of the device. It is not uncommon for a single module to have over 10 meters of wire installed. As you can imagine, within such tight confines and with such a small amount of surface area to play with, the process requires extremely accurate placement of these wires, and each wire bond must be a perfect joint. Some power module designs call for installation of a printed circuit board, or PCB, following completion of wire bonding. The PCB attach station automatically solders boards in place. Further cleaning is now performed to remove any contaminants prior to application of gel. The module is now ready to be filled with a dielectric gel. This gel, which is dispensed as a liquid, enhances the module's electrical isolation and protects the chips and wire bonds. PowerX gels the module in a vacuum to pull out any trapped gases that may otherwise expand into bubbles. This also ensures a tight seal between the gel and all of the internal surfaces of the module. Next, a lid is attached using screws. Then the module goes into a curing oven where the gel is cured. Once the gel has cured, the metal terminals are bent into their final position. Finally, the module is ready for electrical function testing. Each module undergoes a series of tests to ensure it performs in accordance with its specification. Typically modules will undergo static electrical testing at room temperature and at 125C. Isolation voltage and transient thermal impedance at room temperature. Dynamic testing at 125C. And in some cases 100% partial discharge testing for high voltage devices. As each module is serialized, the unique test data is captured. Once a module has passed all of its electrical function testing, it is sent on its way to be packed and shipped to our customer. As an AS9100 and ISO 9001 certified supplier, PowerX is positioned to support your module requirements with high quality, competitively priced modules. We look forward to working with you on your next design. We invite you to visit our factory located near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and discuss your application with our design team.